Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Selamat sejahtera and hello everyone. My name is Abdul Karim Alias. The topic of this video is about what uh, is about digital whiteboard. Someone asked me recently, what is the best digital whiteboard application to produce teaching content for online course or online class? Well, I think most teachers are so familiar in the in the traditional face-to-face -face classroom uh, when you want to explain something then you have to you will write on the whiteboard or on the on the digital board doesn't matter whether we use the chalk or the what or the marker pen but it feels just natural to write on the board and explain well when we teach online if you want to teach the content using this method well, somehow we have to find the tools for that and uh, I think most people are now very familiar how to produce a so-called screencast or screen casting or screen recording where we have the PowerPoint then you can have um, the option also to have your video or the webcam or so-called talking head on, on the side or can put anywhere on the screen so, but uh, when we record a, a lecture or a, a class using this method, it, it still there's, there's a tendency to, to write on the slide or to explain by writing and by, you know, just uh, jotting somewhere on the slide or on the white blank screen. So how do we do that? In for the to produce a so-called online content using this using the same kind of um, writing on the board like we do in the classroom well this is the what, what I'm going to explain um, in this video well let's let's see two example here uh, this one is from Han Academy then this is actually very popular let's just take okay. So that's the whole point. We're starting the absorption process, and then we'll enter the loop of Henley. And actually, this is, in my mind, the most interesting part of the nephron. So we're entering the loop of Henley, and it dips down. It dips down and then comes back up. So the loop of Henley. And so most of the length... Of okay. It just feels natural to talk and explain while uh, writing or while drawing. On, on the board but in this case rather than rather than writing on the board the physical board we are using a, you know a certain kind of application to produce similar uh, similar way of how we do how we write on on the board in the classroom and uh, let me show another example this is my own example here so we have what we have now is the sugar at high uh, concentration at high and at high uh, temperature then after that we can cool this uh, cool down this uh, solution or the sugar solution to a lower temperature so okay you get the idea two example here this is basically what the so-called digital whiteboard how we can use digital whiteboard to produce this kind of content this particular one I did in back in 2012. Uh, I use iPad actually. I just use use the iPad, and I think um, just this one I just use my finger if, if I re uh, recall correctly. Just use my finger because because at that time I don't have a proper stylus. So how do we produce such content using a so-called digital whiteboard? Okay. Now. Um, the best, perhaps the easiest to produce this kind of content to is to use a tablet. So we, you can use like, uh, you know, any, any, for any kind of tablet, for example, the iPad with the iPad pen, with the, with the Apple pen, or you can use any Android based tablet. Uh, or in this case, this is actually a uh, specialized uh, Wacom, Wacom tablet, which are very popular among the uh, you know the graphic artists the digital graphic artists which uh, you can buy you know uh, I think it is quite 
affordable the entry level but um, if we don't have this these devices uh, well I think I still feel that if you are serious about making or using kind of a digital whiteboard to write to explain to jot down you know um, it's still best to have uh, a tablet for this purpose but in this video uh, I would like to share with you one application uh, which is free application from Google it's called Google Jamboard and uh, you can see uh, I have one example here and uh, maybe I just open this one so basically you can you can imagine if you want to explain while writing on on the on the screen while explaining and recording the, the video well um, you can do this um, by using a certain application and in this case um, this is what Google uh, Jamboard can do and it's a free application you can find in when you go to your Google Drive or when you are in your Gmail if you click this uh, icon here and scroll down you'll find Jamboard down there so you just click and it will take you to the Jamboard application okay and um, what you can do you can bring in your slide let's say you have a PowerPoint slide that you want to annotate so first in the PowerPoint for example uh, in my PowerPoint here I have three slides so all you need to do is to uh, export uh, export the the PowerPoint in the form of JPEG or PNG so you can choose either of this JPEG or PNG format then you can export then you will get the slide in the form of image so you can see here I exported my slide in the form of uh, JPEG format here so I have three slide images here which I can import into my Jamboard so you can see here these are the three small pictures here and this one is the writing that I did um, to explain about this and you can also add a sticker note so you can see here the, the tool that you can use so let me end up here these are the so called the frame they call Google Google Jamboard use uh, the ex the term the the term frame uh, frame but it's just like a, a slide so you can add um, let's say a new frame here or a new slide or a new um, kind of blank sheet of paper then you can find the tools this is actually the pen tool there are uh, different type of tools here and you can choose the color uh, which is quite limited um, and this is actually the eraser this is actually the pointer to move any object uh, around and this is actually a sticky note and here you can bring in the picture from the computer let's say in this case your slide and this is actually the laser pointer so let me just show very briefly how this thing work very very simple so let's say I choose this pen and I choose the color here then I can start uh, writing here but the thing is uh, using the mouse is a bit awkward and it's not easy to write on the computer screen if you have the computer with a touch screen or if you have a tablet like a Microsoft Surface or iPad then it's best to use Jamboard application on your tablet on the iPad or on your uh, Microsoft Surface or any tablet that you might have because you can use a stylus and you can write and draw whatever in a very easy easy way and much much smoother compared to using the mouse okay um, you can also actually download the Google Jamboard app to your phone and I will show you later how you can write on your phone or on your iPad and whatever that you do on your iPad or on your tablet or your phone 
will be seen automatically on the screen. So what you can do is you can actually record the screen by using a normal, uh, you know, the, the common screen recording application such as Screencast or Matic or Loom, Loom, uh, Loom Pro or whatever uh, your favorite screencast application. Then you can actually start recording and you can start doing the annotation, writing, explaining everything on the screen here using your mouse. But it's better to use if you have the tablet or the iPad or the phone, download the Jamboard application and do it from there. Everything you do on your iPad, on your tablet or on your phone will be reflected in real time on this on this one. I will, I will demonstrate uh, shortly. But let's quickly look at the tools here. This is actually eraser. So you can delete. Okay or you can just clear the frame when you click clear frame everything will be uh, will be erased uh, completely but if you want to erase only a certain part you can use this one and this is actually the select tool this is a sticky note so you can choose the color of the sticky note then you can type anything text oops click save then there is your sticky note then you can move it around you can uh, rotate it you can edit you can duplicate or you can delete okay and you can resize if you like that's sticky note and this is a picture this is where actually the, the, the power of this application if let's say you want to use Jamboard to annotate your PowerPoint slide so all you need to do now you have already uh, the slide that you have converted into image so you just bring in just drag and drop then you have a slide there you can uh, again you can resize it and you can go to the next slide and bring in another uh, another slide let's see this one Okay, let's go back to the, sec the previous slide. Now, imagine that now you are recording this presentation now. Then you want to start to explain about this slide. So you can pick the pen in there, here. Any pen, let's say this one, and any color. Then, uh, okay, um, let's talk about the characteristics of rubbery and glassy state. What is rubbery and what is glassy state so when when you use a pen tool the whatever that you write or you draw will remain there until you clear the uh, until you erase using the rubber or using the eraser tool but if you just want to show a certain part while explaining you can use a laser so just, you can say that okay this is, uh, let's say let's talk about rubbery state what's let's talk about glassy state and the differences between rubbery and glassy state so as you can see here this graph we have on the y axis increasing viscosity and on the x axis the temperature or the moisture content or the amount of plasticizers okay then let's pick the pen tool here this, this time i use take this color Okay, let's look at the glassy state here. What's the meaning of glassy state? And this one is actually the brush tool, which I can use to highlight, for example. So that's how you use the, the pen tool here. Then if you want to move things around, uh, you can use the select tool and you can move things around. Okay, size, resize the picture. And this one uh, to bring in image and also this one is laser uh, pointer. Okay, so that's basically a simple way to use a so-called a whiteboard application, and you can uh, teach the content based on your PowerPoint slide, or you can just uh, 
use the blank slide then you can start um, writing whatever that you want to explain okay you know the, so let's talk about a flow curve it's one of the subject that I teach in the class okay. so on the y axis we have the stress in Pascal and on the y axis we have the shear rate in reciprocal second as you can see I'm writing using the mouse so it's very slow and it's very awkward this the to me the it's not really a very convenient way if you if you want to use a whiteboard on your computer screen using the mouse so now I want to show you the same application here Google Jamboard on my computer on my Mac now I have the same application I've downloaded uh, Google Jamboard on my iPad also on my phone so let's see how it looks like on my iPad so you are looking at my iPad screen now so I'm using the, the mirror mirroring technique to mirror my iPad screen on the Mac screen my Mac computer screen so you can see here I have the application Jamboard here now when I open this on my iPad and I have already logged in into the same Jamboard account that I have on my Mac then I can see there if you, if you notice this is the, the file that I'm working on also called the Jam that I'm working on now so I will go to this so I'm, I'm doing this on my iPad and it is so you can see the same thing so I go to the second slide to the third oops yeah second slide the third slide the fourth slide so remember this this diagram just now and the previous slide was basically uh, I use uh, I do it on my computer but on my iPad it, it has been synced automatically on the Jamboard application on my iPad so now rather than using the mouse on my computer I can actually do everything on my iPad and everything will be reflected here in real time and the same thing if you don't have the iPad or the tablet what you can do you can use your phone download Google Jamboard and you can do the same but of course the phone screen will be much smaller and again it's not perhaps not very convenient so I'm going to do some uh, writing some talking on my iPad and see what will ha what happens at the same time in real time on my computer screen here so I just uh, write something here your hope oh. okay I will use my um, I want to use my just now I, I write using my finger so let me take my my stylus now so now okay let's learn about today we're going to talk about rheology so I can write faster easier using my stylus okay so let's say I want to bring in the picture so yeah, I will bring a picture uh, from my camera or from I can search also the picture on on the website let's say I search for yogurt so I just take any picture here then I can so I'm just using my finger here on my iPad to move the picture around and use two fingers to adjust the size and one finger to move it around so simple okay then I'm going to use my stylus now to okay to write let's say this one is uh, example of um, see to plastic material 
okay so it's so easy using the stylus and using the ipad and everything will be reflected or mirrored into my uh, jamboard application on my computer and at the same time if i'm recording this everything will be recorded so basically that's um, how you can produce a whiteboard type of content using google jamboard so you have the choice to use it on your computer and you can write and annotate your your slide okay let me go to the previous slide okay so this is actually my powerpoint slide so i just make it bigger then i can start talking okay uh, let's talk about this uh, glassy state uh, using this example this is actually the um, what is this this uh, cotton floss so do you know that the cotton floss come from in in the this actually in an amorphous state okay amorphous state but actually it came from initially from crystal so this is actually just a normal sucrose crystal so i'm writing on my ipad but whatever that i do on my ipad is actually reflected on the jamboard application on my mac computer so that's how this thing is actually happening and this is how you can produce the um, using the whiteboard to produce this type of uh, teaching especially if you are teaching subject like uh, in that needs a lot of you know writing and explanation like mathematics physics sciences engineering you know those are the kind of subject that you might want to consider using this application called Jamboard and you can use uh, and, and it's best to get the tablet and using a stylus um, so using a stylus like this and you can get the cheap tablet uh, Android tablet or invest on the iPad and the Apple pen then you should be able to produce this type of uh, teaching and recording uh using your tablet okay so i think that's what uh, that's all uh, for now um i hope this will give you some ideas if you really want to produce this type of content and this is one of the approaches that you can use so don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel and if you have any suggestion any questions feel free to put your question your or your comment or your feedback on below the in the description uh, then i will try to respond as soon as possible thank you